Well, Mother Teresa was a fanatic, um, fundamentalist, and a fraud. She was not a friend of the poor, as she claimed to be. She was a friend of poverty. Preached it as a, as a good thing, as a gift from God, something to be welcomed along with other kinds of suffering. Wasn't interested in alleviating it. Was a friend of the rich. Took money from the Duvalier family in Haiti, one of the most obscenely bloated uh, dynastic dictatorships in history. Uh, took money from Charles Keating, the man who robbed Americans blind through the Lincoln Savings and Loan. Stolen money. Um, all to build convents in her own name. Uh, more than 200 of them around the world in order to found an order that bore her name. This is not modesty either, nor is it humility. It doesn't exhaust my critique of her either. Um, we all know there is a cure for poverty. It's a rudimentary one. It does work, though. It works everywhere for the same reason. It's colloquially called the empowerment of women. It's the only thing that does work. If you allow women control over, some control over their cycle of reproduction, so that they're not chained by their husbands or by village custom to annual animal type pregnancies, early death, disease and so on. If you will free them from that, give them some basic uh, health of that sort, and if you're generous enough to throw in perhaps a handful of seeds and a bit of credit, the whole floor culturally, socially, medically uh, economic of that village will rise. It works every time. Mother Teresa spent her entire life campaigning against that outcome. She said that contraception was equivalent to abortion morally, and abortion was morally equivalent to murder. She was entirely against the only thing that cures poverty. I would say that her preachments led to an enormous increase in the amount of poverty, ignorance, filth, and disease in the world. And I would further add, without embarrassment, that it's off those things that the Roman Catholic Church has always fed and made its living. Otherwise, there'd be no need for the Protestant Revolution, which brings us here today. Um, and believe me, I've, I've barely started with, uh, with that terrible person.